John here with the Columbia River Orienteering Club in Portland, Oregon. Our video today will cover CalTopo software. CalTopo is a wonderful, free, browser-based topographic mapping software that covers all the United States and part of Canada. Once you learn how to use this software, you may never have to buy a topographic map again. Our video will cover four main aspects of the software. One, map layers. Two, adding marker points and lines onto your file. 3. Importing and exporting a GPX track, and 4. Printing. Let's get started. So here's our default map screen of CalTopo. If we look in the upper right hand corner we see a couple of things. One, if you notice as I'm moving my mouse around here on the screen it's constantly showing my coordinates in latitude, longitude, and underneath UTM, which can be very helpful to find the coordinates of a specific point on the map. And next, on top of that, we see map layers. If we mouse over that, we can change our base layer to any one of different maps. Let's click on that drop down, and this shows you all the different base layers that you can use. To find a specific uh, spot and where you're interested in going, I find it useful to turn on the Google Map layer, which most people are familiar with. Then you can simply pan and zoom to the area that you want to go to. Today, we'll be looking at a spot in central Oregon called South Sister. Near Bend, we're going to zoom in to South Sister. There it is on the map. And when we get close to our location, we can then go back to map layer and turn on USGS seven and a half minute topographic maps. And that brings us right into South Sister, our area of interest. Now that we've found our area of interest, I'd like to show you a very helpful map layer called Shaded Relief. To illustrate this, I'm gonna zoom in to this area called Broken Top here in the center of our map. To turn on Shaded Relief, we can go to the preset layers on the left and click Shaded Relief. Look at the center of the map. Check out how the Shaded Relief really makes these ridge lines and gullies and valleys pop out a little bit visually. You can print a map with this on it and it makes using it much more helpful in the field. You can adjust the level of shading here in the upper right hand corner. And if we grab this slider bar, slowly slide to the right, we can get some really crazy shade of relief at 100, and then all the way back to zero turns it off. Personally, I like a level right around 20, 25 is the default. So let's bring it right in around 20, 23, and we'll use that for the rest of our mapping today. Now let's have a look at adding map layers and lines onto our map. It's good practice to add a marker point for your car and some key uh, waypoints along the way of your hike or climb. Doing so makes printing the map much easier later on. Adding a marker point is very simple. Mouse over to where you want to add the point, right click, and add new marker. That's our trailhead, so we'll name it car, and tap enter, and see that we now have a marker point at our car. Summit of South Sister, where we may want to go for a climb, let's add that for a marker point as well. Tap enter, and finally over here on broken top, right click, new marker, B top, tap enter, three marker points. Adding a line is also very straightforward. If we wanted to say mark this uh, hiking trail that leads up into the Green Lakes area, we can right click at that trailhead. Let's add new line, click OK. And if we hold down the shift key and drag with our mouse, I'm not following the trail exactly, but this is pretty close. We can click and drag a free form line up anywhere we want and double click to uh, end the line. What else, is, what also is very helpful in this software is we can export this line or the waypoints we've made as a GPX file. To do that, we can go to export, click download GPX file. We can select or deselect any of these lines or markers that we've made. And now if we click export, it's downloaded a GPX track onto our hard drive, which we can then put onto a GPS uh, receiver or into your smartphone to follow when you're in the field. So we just saw how we can add marker points and a line onto our map. If we click the X here, we can delete the line or edit it with the uh, pencil button. Let's delete the line that we just drew. Delete, and it's gone. Now let's look, rather than exporting a line that we drew as a GPS track, let's look at importing a GPX track. GPS tracks can be very helpful to allow you to follow the track or a course that someone else has made. To do that, we can click Import, Choose Files, GPX File, 
I already have one on my hard drive here called South Sister Climbing Route. We select it, click open. It prompts me to uh, download everything. I want to click yes, import, and bam, there is the South Sister Climbing Route drawn directly onto your map. Okay, now for a quick review. We've looked at map layers, adding marker points and labels onto your map, as well as importing and exporting a GPS track. Let's now have a look at printing. Printing is wonderful in this software. We get started from that with the print dialog box here, and you want to choose print to PDF or JPEG. This opens up another tab in your browser window here, and we have a large red box on the screen. This is the area that your map will print at. We can move this box around by grabbing on the circle in the middle and clicking and dragging it. Now, we could just drag it to where our three points and line is and lines are and leave it at that. But let's have a look at a couple other features up here on the left. We can change the page size, which changes the map scale. Also notice we have kind of a goofy map scale here of 1 to 37,000. I like to have my maps at a more standard scale, so I'm going to change that using the scale bar here and the drop down menu given, and it gives us these uh, six standard scale sizes as well as custom. I'm going to choose 1 to 50,000, and when I do this, watch what happens to the red box in the middle of the screen. It's going to get bigger. I'll click it once, and boom, the box gets larger, and notice our scale is now 1 to 50,000. I want to resize this box and move it back over our uh, three points and the GPX route. That looks like a fine area to print, and when you're ready to go, you just click Generate PDF. The software opens a third browser window at the top. It's going to chunk away for a minute or two while it generates the map tiles. And now we have a lovely map of our climbing area with our points and GPS track beautifully drawn in. Down the bottom, we've got a ratio scale, a bar scale, magnetic declination chart, and the map data. To save this onto our hard drive, we can right click, choose Save As. Uh, the default um, title of your map is this kind of goofy 1T4L. We want to change that to something a little more descriptive. We click Save, and then we have a PDF file downloaded onto our hard drive, which we can print or email and share with someone else. So, once you get comfortable with this software, you may never have to buy another topographic map again in your whole life. If you think that's something of value, I would encourage you to go to caltopo.com and give a donation to the developer of this software. It's one guy in California, he does all this work himself, and he would really appreciate continued support of his work, so this software can stay up for all of us to continue to use and enjoy. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, and see you in the mountains.